Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to part 16 of the Off series. If you're joining us from last time, you'll remember that we are in Area 3 now, and we're trying to figure out how to open up a door. Meow. Oh, what's new? Nothing. Meow. Alright, come back when you have fresh news then. Sure, why not? I can do that. Uh, so we're trying to figure out how to open up this door puzzle. And like most off things, I had no idea how to do it, so I just stopped and tried to reevaluate my life. So we're gonna flip off these switch is because flipping switches off in a game named off sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good place to start. Did I open up the door? No. Um, we've already talked to these people, so I'm not going to do their voices again. Everyone gets one. All right. Oh, that's right. The random encounters are here again, too. No, oh, and I didn't make any tea for this. So I'm just going to put this on auto and immediately kill it. Awesome. Uh, and we'll go on from here. I believe that I need to get this switch down here. Also flip it off. Good. And it still didn't work. Um... Maybe if I turn C on? Huh? Access to the treatment rows? Authorize! <laughs> I am really surprised that I was able to do that. I honestly didn't think that that was going to be the solution to it, but hey, I'm glad it was. I'm going to just keep on trying to pull the puzzle answers out of my rectum from now on. I'm just going to pull switches until the right things happen. So let's continue on into this warehouse and see what's going on. Hello? Some more switches? Hi. Hi, baseball hat man. How you doing? Ellipses. Oh, super ellipses. Oh, oh. You alright there? You okay there? This block prevents me from entering the next room, so I need to move it. It's such a pleasure to work every day. You know what? I know what you mean. It is a pleasure to work every single day. I think there's a problem with the dessert. My portion today wasn't as big as usual. Uh, sorry. So let's go ahead and use the completely random method of puzzle solving and flip these switches. Yes, yes, I know. There's more of you weird... I don't even know what to think about this. These creatures look like something that you would leave like out in the hot sun and it would start sprouting all that mold on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like that and a mixture of, I would say a seahorse, maybe? Like a rubbery malformed seahorse? Okay, what'd that do? Uh, looks like it got rid of two of the boxes. Okay, what about this? That makes the switch go that way. So if I switch, th no, the upper. Let's try the upper one, because the upper one switched them around. It, it got rid of the two bottom boxes, if I remember correctly. And we'll go ahead and punch this guy in the face a little bit more. Punch, punch, punch. Thank you, Mr. Rings. You are doing fantastic, and I love you. I love all of you. I'm sure that one, when this is all over, we can practice our hula hoop skills. Is this going to work? Is it to work? All right, no, no, it didn't. It didn't at all. Um, oh, ha! But that worked. Hey, all right, cool. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. Please enter the pass name. Oh, oh, oh! It's been a while. Um. It was named, it was Gacy, it was, uh, Vaughn, Vaughn Gacy, I think is how, what, what the name of the monster was, Vaughn, is there, I feel like there should be a space, um, okay, so, was it lowercase or was it uppercase, I don't know now, okay, we're just gonna do it, Vaughn Gacy, with a C, uh, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> three for three! Now, now, the sh the sugar. Uh, don't don't touch the sugar. Shove, shove. 
Shove off, Spectres. Get out! Get out! Oh, well, they killed him. Yeah. You! You want to eat our sugar, too? I was trying to do Edgar from Man Black. Sugar. Sugar water. That's what I was trying. Uh, let's go ahead and auto this, too, because auto can do no wrong at this point. Or we can do it by ourselves, because I want to see what they are. Cavalry burnt employee of Vesper on sugar deprivation. Why are they sugar deprived? There's an entire room filled with sugar. I feel like you can ration it out and it'll be okay, guys. Never fear, there's sugar here. All right, well, let's go ahead and give these guys the what for, what to. And fight Mr. Smoke Man right here with the thing stuffs. There we go. Okay. Good job. Good job, everyone. High fives all around. High fives in my ties. No. No, we must protect the sugar. Bobop. No, you're not going to protect anything now. Meow. Meow. <laughs> mm, it smells awfully good around here. Without doubt, that is due to these piles of immaculate white and granular powder. It seems to be sugar. It, yeah. I think it is sugar. Yes, it seems so. <laughs> oh, well, this is quite surprising. I didn't expect to sign such an ingredient at this p- In this place. What were you about to say? Maybe we'll find the answers to that in Area 3. Logic obliges us to go on with the third after the second one, after all. Remember, we're in a video game. Alright, Mr. Fourth Wall Breaker. We've got to do things the constructive way. Well, go on. I'll meet you again when you're the here. They're, they're here. They're very... Th hurry up, Cod. Meow. Meow. <laughs> By the way, I suggest you be careful on your way back. The employees seem to be uh, feeling a bit under the weather. They even appear to be in a bloody bad temper. Okay, Meow. yeah, sure. See you later. Oh, uh-oh. That's a poison screen. I've seen that before. I played Pokemon. I know what that means. So this is a fortune ticket. Cool. Roger. So let's go ahead and uh, fix our batter. There we go. The batter is the one who has the poisons. Uh, which one of these does it? Molox meat. Let's go ahead and cure them up then. Boom. There we go. Great job. Okay. Heal them up. And we're ready to go. Heal them up. Heal them up. Ready to go. Heal them up. Heal them up. And we'll just go ahead and leave you guys to it. I don't want to deal with you. I am tired of fighting. <laughs> really, I'm super tired of fighting in this game. And we're just going to go on. We're just going to go to the progression stuffs with the things. All right. Health points. Let's save it before we get to the other zone. And let's continue on. Uh, hey, how's it going? And ch 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 check this out to area three. It used to be blocked off, so let's go ahead and see. I talked to you, right? Sometimes. Uh, yep, you did. Oh, okay, bye. Well, I guess I'll just stand here forever again. All right. Ooh, this is a this is a tall. Whoa, what was that? Was it loading? I. That's weird. Oh, whoa. It is like loading or something. That's very strange. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about the skipping. I didn't... <laughs> I was... Sorry. What? What? Game of the Mortal Fall. Catch 10 add-ons before the timer runs out so the batter won't crush with a bloody noise. Be careful about the phantoms. If you touch three of them, you lose. What is this? What? What? What is this even? This is this is really cool. The background, the moving background, is is really cool. When did this come out? It, it look okay. So it looks like it looks like the background was set on a loop, and I'm still on like a grid system too. Why? 
Why is he not collecting any of these? I'm I'm hitting them. Is this not like Sonic the Hedgehog type rules for rings where you just have to be next to it in order for it to count? Okay, I have to be like in the middle of it in order for it to count. Got it. Raj. Okay, so you have to be like dead set in the middle of it in order for it to count. And it's on a grid system, so it's not... Ugh. Ugh. I already don't like this. It's a cool game mode, and it's done pretty awesome. It's just... It's kind of finicky. It's actually really finicky when it comes to collecting the rings. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and... Sorry, slow this down. Okay, got it. Got it. Getting the hang of it. Got it. I have seven seconds. That is not going to be enough time. Almost. Almost, but not quite. Time's up. Ha ha ha. Too bad. Try again, you stick puppy. Fine. Whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead and stay in the middle of the place and make really small course corrections. There we go. Two already. Mm, see? I'm getting too far away from the center. Gotta pull it back. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm I'm falling the entire time too. He's actually uh, controlling himself pretty well for falling. And he's actually falling a long way. It kind of makes me want to do the calculations to like whether or not he would actually be falling this much. If if the smokestack is that high and he had to climb it that much, how many pixels high versus how fast he would fall down? That sort of thing. The sh the sh the sugar. Put the sugar in the tube. The sugar in the tube. The tube. Put the sugar in the tube. Put the sugar in. Hi. You. What? Where did you come from? I'm the batter, and I jumped down the chimney. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> what is this place? Ellipses. Oh, the fifth element. Uh, you're here in the sugar ovens of Vesper, the northern part of Zone 3. The sugar ovens. I don't know if that's how you get sugar. Here, we burn the corpses of people who have died, and thanks to an ingenious sewer system, transform the vapor into sugar. That, that does not seem very effective. The tubes which traverse the factory walls direct it to the treatment rooms, where it is washed and purified from the remaining ashes. I get... Um, then the sugar is distributed to all employees as a reward for the work they do every day. Ah, okay. They're eating people! They're eating people! It's a secret element, the fifth element, the most important element. Well, aren't they all the most important element? Because without sugar, people could no longer bear reality, and they would go mad. Who's responsible for this? Are you bringing me sugar? No, I'm not. <laughs> the director is responsible. He's, he's in Area 4. Okay. And that's it. Good. He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jimmy. I have work to do. This is an oven lit by corpses. It's a pile of dead people. There's not a lot to do here, but there is a lot of sugar. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump to the sewers. Whoop. Well, that was convenient. No. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Welcome, misanthrope. I've seen this. I've seen this before. This is, uh, um, I know exactly what's happened. Ellipses, ah. Uh. Meow. Mew. Oh, the better. Oh, the better. That certainly buys us time. I must purify this zone's guardian. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course. That is what I thought. I have an access card for the monorail. Let's hurry to Area 4 to meet that mysterious director. And sorry that I was a little Irish there for a little bit. 
the Spanish in me. You know, Ireland and Spain are so close together. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave it here for right now. But hey, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord signing off. Have a good one, guys. No one at all. Not me. You sure? Okay, that's what I thought. Good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ellipses. <laughs> Who are you all? Uh, are you specters? You, you're not bad ghosts, right? Of, of course not. You are our friends. <laughs> Hi, little there, friend. Oh, this, this isn't a serious injury. It's fine. I don't need the blood. <laughs> Taste my holy wrath, corrupt souls. Okay, alright. <laughs>